Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday and happy St. Patrick's Day. It's a little bit of a bleary uh, day out there with St. Patrick's Day, but Bianca and I were just talking about how there's no shortage of places to go celebrate indoors today. So I hope you have plans to do that this afternoon. And hopefully you are still um, attached to your computer and email to watch this edition of the Weekly Member Spotlight. I'm very excited to be here with a, a guest that I just had the privilege of meeting this morning for the first time. And so I, I love these kinds of interviews when it's an interview that um, is someone that I, I just don't know. And so this is all going to be new and exciting for me as well as our audience. So first and foremost, um, our guest is Bianca Nisbeth. She is a community manager with Venture Communities. Uh, Bianca, welcome, and thank you for taking time to participate today. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice, definitely nice to be here. Well, I just have to give a little shout out to one of your fearless leaders, Taylor Bartow with Venture Communities, who is on our social media committee. And she uh, said, hey, I want to nominate one of my team members to be a part of this initiative. So I love when that happens and appreciate, yeah. again, you taking time to be here. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, let's just dive right in. and love to get to know a little bit about you. How about start by telling us which community do you manage and how long have you been in the business? So right now I currently manage um, Village for Townhomes. I'm located in North College Hill, um, okay. Cincinnati. And I've been in the multifamily industry going on about six years now. Oh, wow. So I love asking people how they got into this industry because it's always some accidental story. Nobody <laughs> grows up and says, I want to be a property manager. How did you yeah. get into this business? Oh, um, so I guess same thing for me. It was an accident. <laughs> um, I was actually working in law and um, needed a full-time job. And so I, you know, just threw my resume out there and a company decided to give me a chance. And here we are six years later. Nice. Well, what do you love so much about our industry? What keeps you coming back year after year? So um, for me, it is just continuous learning, nonstop learning. Um, every day is something new. So it's never a situation where I'm coming in and I'm like, oh my, like I have to do the same thing every day. It's always something new. So that's what it's like in having to figure out um, how to answer different problems that arise. Mm -hmm. So that's always a challenge and it's challenges that I love to accept. So, yeah. It is. It's never a dull moment in this business, huh? No, no. <laughs> well, one of my other very favorite questions, because it's impossible to even think about all the things that could happen on any given day at any given community across our industry but when you think back on your six years in this industry what's a memorable story that comes to mind um I would have to say the most memorable thing it um situation that happened was it uh it was like super windy extremely windy um one day it was like a storm like almost a tornado but not a tornado situation right. mm -hmm. <laughs> and a tree actually like fell on one of our buildings oh wow and you know by the grace of god it didn't actually go through but it was like whoa like it was one of those things was like how do i deal with this but um one thing you do learn in this industry is sometimes um you can either be reactive or proactive right this was a situation where we had to be reactive and um our team is amazing i mean we were able to get the tree cut down every get everybody situated in a happy space. And that was like probably the absolute most memorable thing I've ever had to deal with in the company. I've never, like had, I've never had a tree in a building. That sounds, uh, that sounds like quite yeah. a mess. Yeah. I mean, it, it would be, um, the, the team got it together really fast. Um, I mean, the company that we used to get the tree, like cut it down in bids, um, obviously make sure that the residents were like in the safe situation, which they were, right. uh, which was awesome. Um, and just getting everything back up and running. It was it was crazy, but definitely a learning experience. So if you ever need to know how to handle a situation like that, I'm gonna... <laughs> you're our girl. Um, I always joke that I think we are um, missing an opportunity in our business. We should have some reality TV show or something. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. It would be very entertaining. Um, well, I want to talk a little bit more about the industry. What are some of, if you've been in for six years, COVID certainly interrupted the industry and you've probably seen what it was like before and now after, what do you think some of the challenges that we are facing as an industry are these days? Um, I want to say, um, as far as what we're facing in the industry now, which I think has always been a thing, but, um, 
but we're now in what they're saying is like a recession and being able yeah. to adjust like we adjusted mm-hmm. to COVID. Yeah. Um, and I think the biggest thing is having a company that's going to be behind you 100% and making the best decisions for not only you as the employee, but also for the residents. Right. Um, and I know, you know, I've run into a lot of people who had those issues where, you know, they might, you know, not feel supported or whatever it may be. But whether you're a leader um, in a company or if you're, um, you know, like a main say, every part of the industry is important. And just right. always let your team members know that uh, anybody can help. Everybody brings something to the table. And I feel like when everybody feels appreciated and it's acknowledged, I mean, there's nothing that, but there's not a challenge that you guys can't face. I love that very much. Um, we don't know each other yet, but I'm a huge football fan. And one of the things that I, I, I talk about football in all of my team meetings, and I like the sentiment that you just said, like, we are a team. Everyone yeah. has their position on the team and we all yeah. have to do what, what is ours and we have to do it well. And when we come together, we're unstoppable. Absolutely. Well, I love that very much. So what are some things or, or anything that you can think of that you think we need to be focusing in on as an industry to make sure we can keep showing up and providing the level of service to our residents and making it a great industry to be a part of? Is there anything you think we should be focusing on to affect some change in our industry? Um, honestly, I feel like the, the so far from my experience, um, there isn't I mean, there's always room for growth with anything, but I feel like the industry is doing like, I mean, absolutely amazing in my, yeah. in my eyes. Um, I would just say, continue to be supportive, continue to show up, continue to be honest. That's a mm-hmm. huge, huge thing um, in the industry where uh, a lot of people can like the honesty. But like I said, if someone sees that you care, they're going to want to put that work in to also care and make it an awesome situation. Agreed. Well, one more question, then we're going to move into getting to know you a little bit more on a personal level. Um, What advice would you offer up to anyone who is thinking about a career in property management? Um, I would say, I I would would definitely tell them, um, do not get discouraged. You will run into a lot of roadblocks where you, um, I think naturally as humans, we're going to immediately doubt ourselves when we get introduced to something that we're familiar with. Mm-hmm. Um, but knowing that there is always a solution to every problem, you just got to take that step back, evaluate, and let's go take some action. I love that. The it's, it's almost like the one day at a time mentality. Yeah. Don't, yeah. if you have a bad day today, don't worry. It's going to pass and there'll be something else to take up your time the next day. Right. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you ready? Let's switch gears and get to know you a little bit more on a personal level. Yes, absolutely. Let's do it. This is always my favorite part of the interview. I love hearing all the professional experience and everything, but I like I like getting to know people. Mm-hmm. Um, well, first, tell us a little bit about your family. Um, so my family is um, absolutely amazing. Um, uh-huh. My family is huge. I have a, a huge family. Mm-hmm. Um, my uh, mom's side, they are from uh, Jamaica. Um, no and, yes, and it is awesome. I get to have authentic Jamaican food all the time. Um, my mom, she will cook it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Now she might give me a little hassle because I export a lot, but <laughs> you know it's amazing. But besides that, you know, like mom, I have a uh, my mom. You know, is married. My addition, my added addition family, they're absolutely awesome. Um, extremely supportive in anything that I decide to do. Um, so yeah. Well, I have to tell you, and I was looking because I, I have a little souvenir. I literally just got back from Jamaica last okay. week. Um, now, I don't think I got the full experience of seeing what a lovely island Jamaica is, but here's my Jamaica pen. Um, I, I went to Montego Bay, so it was very, okay. you know, it was, it was very luxurious and fun, um, mm-hmm. but I had never been, and I didn't know anything about the um, Jamaican food, and I am a fan. Oh, my goodness. It was wonderful. Oh, so did you get to do uh, Dunn's River Falls while you were there? No, we stayed in Montego Bay and, okay. and did all the things. We were only there for five days, four nights. Okay. Um, but I definitely want to go back. And I have a friend um, in the industry, actually, was telling me she took her honeymoon and went to Dunn's River Falls and uh-huh. how beautiful it was. 
Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. And we, we have a, my company, we have a sales consultant or a sales manager actually, who is from Jamaica. And, um, I didn't talk to her before I went and I was like, I totally missed that opportunity to get a little insight from someone uh, who knows the island so well. Mm -hmm. Well, that is, that is fascinating. What are some of the things you like to do either with your family or alone, um, in your spare time, any hobbies or how do you spend your pastime? So, uh, in my pastime, honestly, I do a, I mean, I love hanging out with my friends. Absolutely love hanging out with my friends. Uh, love spending time with my God kids. Yeah. Um, I have seven God kids. Which wow. Is awesome. What so, do they call you? Do you have a nickname, Bianca? So they call me, uh, the, <laughs> my God sons, they just call me Auntie Bianca. And then mm-hmm. my God daughters, um, they call me Auntie BB. Uh-huh. Or, um, yeah, that's. I, I love it. They keep me on my toes for oh, sure. Fun. What are um, their age? What are the ranges of age? So age range, we're going from one to eight. Oh, so every year on the dot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fun. It is very fun being an aunt or a god yeah. parent for sure. Cause you get to do all the fun things and then you're like, okay, small doses, right? Yeah, yeah. So they, they come to me when it's time to like have fun, go That's shopping, right. let's go eat, get them juiced up on candy and all of that. And then it's like, okay, it's time to get back to the parents. That's right. And you'll be the, you'll be the confidant as they grow up and need to tell secrets and all the things. Yes, for sure. Oh, uh, well, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so have you been on any vacations recently? And if so, like what's one of your most memorable vacations? Um, so um, I definitely love vacationing. I would say my favorite vacation was Bermuda. Ooh. So um, it was, it was absolutely like the most serene place I've ever been. Wow. And um, I'm an only child. So, I mean, on a day-to-day basis, I have to deal with people and I have to be like an extrovert, but naturally I'm an introvert. So being there and it was like just being able to be in like my own, my, my own time, my own time frame and doing what I want to do if I wanted to just like lay down and sleep all day and look at yeah. the beautiful water. Cause I mean, the water was blue. They had pink sands. It was wow. absolutely amazing. Did so, you go on the trip alone? Uh, no, so I went with some, I went with some friends. Oh, okay. Well, that's, yeah. a, that's incredible. I, I don't know much about Bermuda. The pink sand would do it for me. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. And I mean, everybody, everybody on the beach was, they, they were so nice. Everybody oh. was so nice. Food was amazing. Um, I loved it. Lovely. Well, speaking of food, what is one of your favorite restaurants or meals to have here, here locally? So locally, my favorite restaurant, it is called Alfio's Yuan Chibo, but Ooh. short Alfio's. Okay. Where, where is that in town? So it's located in High Park. Okay. So their food is absolutely amazing. Um, it's, if I'm not, it's mixed like Mediterranean Italian. Okay. And um, they make everything fresh every single day. So their pasta is made from scratch, everything. Yum. Okay, it's, it's so almost good. lunchtime. So I'm like making, that's making me really hungry. <laughs> 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 um, well, that's, that's fun. I always like asking that question. I've got, um, I've gotten a lot of very good recommendations for restaurants that I wouldn't have necessarily known about. So I'm making, I'm adding that to my list. Yes. Um, I meant to ask you back when we were talking about family and, and whatnot. Do you have any pets? I do not have any pets, um, but I do have a dream pet, which is a cane corso. What is a cane corso? I don't know that. So it's a really big dog. Like, I mean, it's huge. Like, it can, I mean, I'm sure it could probably, like, standing, I mean, just on its four legs, it could probably be, like, right here. Oh, my. Um, Yes, they're really protective dogs. Yeah. But they are babies. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you could like the best of both worlds. There you go. Well, that's <laughs> fun. I'll I'll have to Google that breed. Um, yes. well, are are you a reader or a podcast listener? And if so, what's what's a favorite book or podcast? So I like to do both. Uh um, I'm more listen to podcasts because I'm always like on the go. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do have my two favorite ones, um, which is uh the first one is called Earn Your Leisure. Okay. Um, it's on Apple Podcasts. And then the second one is the millionaire mindsets. I've heard of that one. I've not heard of the earn your leisure one. Uh, this is another favorite question because I've gotten the best recommendations. Mm-hmm. Um, well, the, the millionaire mindset and then the earn your leisure. What's that one about? Um, so it's sort of kind of like on the same lines as what the millionaire mindset one does. Um, they bring in on different types of posts. 
um, what they do for a living, how they got to where they were in life, um, giving perspectives, um, advice for anybody who's looking to come up, you know, whether it's in real estate, um, tech, in general, entrepreneurship, um, you know, working in your nine to five, whatever, yeah. and give you different perspectives. So, yeah. Well, I love that. Well, thank you for those. Um, I go and binge is where I'll read, which I listen to the books instead of like actually reading too, or I'll go and podcast and I kind of binge for a month or two at a time and I go back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, what about a favorite TV show or movie? So my favorite TV show is Snapped. Oh, yes. I love yes. Snapped. Oxygen. <laughs> that's the best. Yes, I love Snapped. So I can, I can watch Snapped all day long. It, uh, listen, I feel like I started watching that in, gosh, 2010, 11, somewhere in that, but it was very early on and my mom loves it too. And we'll be like, did you watch that episode or, and they've had a couple of episodes that were based here in Cincinnati. I think two, mm-hmm. I remember, which makes it even more fascinating. Um, those crime shows get me. <laughs> every time, every single every time. time. Um, and do you, do you ever get into any of the crime podcasts? Cause there's a ton of good ones. Uh, yes. So I actually started listening to one. I cannot remember the name of, it. I seen it. I actually seen it on TikTok. Somebody had posted something. Oh yeah. On TikTok and I was like, okay, I need to go in and listen to it. I forget the name of it though. But, oh, that TikTok's a good place. I'll, I'll have to look for some recommendations on there. I haven't seen any on my page or anything, but that I bet they do have some. Yeah, TikTok is like another search. Like, yeah, seriously. Like, yes. Well, fun. Well, are you a sports fan? And if so, who's your team? Um, So I'm always rooting for the home team. Bengals, yes. Reds, FC Cincinnati, home team all the way. Now, now if, you could, if you could choose to go to one game in any season, like which sport are you picking? Um, I would, I would definitely pick uh, football. Bengals. Yes. I like the, um, the chaos of it all. Yeah. I do too. And it's timed. Ba- I like, I love baseball too. And I like it that it's the warm weather, but like those games can go on forever and it's slow. And I like the, I like the aggression of the football. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, what about music? Are you a music fan? And if so, what's one of the best concerts you've attended? Um, so I love music. Um, I really, I really love R&B. That's my like natural go-to because mm-hmm. it's just, like very calm and it just gives me like a peaceful space. Yeah. Um, but I do love, you know, my hip hop, uh, my hip hop rap stuff. So the really one of the like best concerts I went to and which was one of the last ones I went to last summer, which was um, Little Baby and Chris Brown. Oh, nice. Down at, um, the concert was down at Riverbend. It was absolutely insane. And it, they, I mean, they did an absolute amazing performance. Both, That's both awesome. Times. Okay. Listen, Chris Brown's early stuff, absolutely, like, you can't hardly beat it. No, never, absolutely not. <laughs> he, he, um, he was one of my very favorites. Um, what about, um, a couple more questions. I'm going to let you get uh, back to your St. Patrick's Day and on to the weekend. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that I really love asking people is, what is a random fun fact about you that no one would know unless they're asking something really random? Um, I want to say a fun fact about me, honestly, just going back to one of the things I said is that I am like a real like introvert. Most people who know me in yeah. like the everyday life sees me as like this super outgoing, um, let's go out, let's do this, do that, run around. But naturally, like I would much rather be in the house, you know, on the couch watching Snatch or <laughs> um so yeah Mm -hmm. well I like that um okay so if you could be any tv or movie character who would you be and why I would be Annalise Keating that's who I would want to be really what what would make you want to be her she is just like there's nothing that she can't figure out it's absolutely nothing and it's always um her finding the loopholes and everything nice. and always being able to like come out on top she's awesome no and I knew that you would like the uh the crime stuff too so yeah. I, I was like which way is she gonna go with this character that's funny <laughs> um and it's so funny too because some people are like I don't know don't ask me that that's one of those questions some people are like yeah I, I don't want to answer that one Mm -hmm. Um, but it's always fun to hear what you, what you'd want to be. Um, well, my very last question for you, unless is there anything else you want to share about yourself that we might've skipped over or anything? 
Um, no, but I think we like covered everything, honestly. All right. Well, two more questions. First of all, do you have any okay. exciting plans this weekend? Um, as of right now. I'm not sure if you're frozen or if I'm frozen, having a technical difficulty here. Yeah. Oh, there we are. We're back. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Little glitch. We're good. Yeah. So I, I don't, I didn't hear if you answered the question about the weekend. So I'll move on to the very last one that I always end all the interviews with. How do you think the folks who've worked with you in your six-year career in property management, how would they describe you as a leader? Um, as a leader, I think they would describe me as um, easygoing. Um, always, you know, letting them know I'm uh, very supportive. Um, there's nothing that we can't figure out always letting them know that I'm absolutely nothing without my team. And I think any leader can attest to that. Um, and just always uh, giving them the strength to know that we can do anything. Well, I love that. I think being an approachable leader to someone who doesn't get very out of sorts is a great way to make your team feel valued and respected. No, absolutely. And it, it definitely goes a long way, especially, you know, because I mean, me being in leadership, I still have my manager and I've had right. a bunch of different managers and right. learning different management styles and how people react and how we can get, you know, uh, accomplish our goals every day, what's going to work best for everybody. Right. Um, and taking into like to consideration their thoughts, their feelings, their perspective on things and um, just letting them know, I don't know everything. So if you want to come to me and talk to me about something, please tell me because I could be doing something better. Like what right. can I do to help you grow and to also help me grow and do my job better? So, yeah. Well, I love that. Well, it has been a pleasure getting to know you, Bianca. I hope me I get too. to meet you in person <laughs> soon. Do you ever attend any of the GCNKAA events? Uh, yeah, so I, I just did the um, trade show. Oh. And I also joined the um, uh, DE&I. Great. Well, yeah. one of my dearest friends is the co-chair of that. Um, two of mm -hmm. my dear friends are co-chairs of that, but Todd um, is my very, very good friend. And so I know he will appreciate the extra support for that committee. We're trying to do great things with that yes. committee. Yes, absolutely. Well, wonderful. Well, good luck to you and your career. I hope to meet you in person soon. And thank you mm -hmm. for, for taking time today to do this interview. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Well, have a great weekend. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you back again next week for another edition of the Weekly Member Spotlight.